I'm joined now by the Democratic Vice Chair of the Senate Intelligence Committee, Diane Feinstein, of course, from California, and Michael Leiter, a former director of the National Counterterrorism Center. Uh, welcome back to both of you to meet the press. Mike, let me start with you on, on Pete's report. You heard it there, and obviously, FBI director, very concerned. You've talked before about the social media issue. Walk me through at the Counterterrorism Center. When you were there, how closely did you follow social media, and how closely do you think they're doing it now? Well, we followed it more and more as there were more and more people around the world using it. And I think today it is probably the single thing they were watching more than anything else. When I was there, it was largely thinking about al-Qaeda in Pakistan, and it was grainy videos from bin Laden. And it got a bit worse with Anwar al-Awlaki in Yemen. But today, the entire way of messaging, of recruiting, motivating, and fundamentally mobilizing people to violence is now through social media. And that makes their challenge hugely difficult on a number of fronts. You know, uh, the FBI director uh, was quoted in the Washington Post as saying this, Senator Feinstein, it's almost if that there is a devil sitting on the shoulder saying kill, 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 kill all day long. And in fact, the FBI director said, in a way, the old paradigm between inspired or directed when it comes to what ISIS is doing, he thinks there's no distinction, that it's irrelevant. Do you see it the same way? Well, I, I see it the way the director said it, and I think it is kill, kill, kill. And it is putting the lone wolf in a position that that's never happened before, that has never, never been in before, and that is, you know, you do it and we take credit for it. And this... Uh, uh, the evil, the beheadings, um, the individual doesn't see. And so you make the contact and you pursue that contact and then the individual goes out and, uh, and, and puts forth an attack. Uh, you know, ISIS is now has a presence in 11 states. It's unlike AQAP, it's unlike the old Al-Qaeda. Mm -hmm. It's both a fighting force, it's an occupying force, it's a government force, and it is reaching out to uh, put together that caliphate and in the process uh, behead or shoot right. anyone whose religion differs or differs with what they're doing. Uh, it's a force that we really haven't seen before. And we have to begin to cope more seriously with it. And that includes social media. Clearly, we don't really have a social media policy that's working. Uh, doesn't, let, let me, I'm going to play a soundbite here from Senator Cory Booker, a Democrat from New Jersey, at a hearing earlier this week. And, of course, he's Mr. Twitter, uh, if you follow yeah. him on Twitter. And he was just lambasting the administration's efforts on social media against ISIS. Here it is. Uh, I was shocked at what we're doing in counter messaging. I want to pass this iPad around to my, uh, to, my, uh, to my colleagues. If you know anything about social media, the one of the things you should look at is the engagement of uh, people on our social media feeds. And it's laughable. Uh, uh, three re retweets, two retweets. Mike, I can't tell you how many times I have heard from the Obama administration, from the State Department, from the CIA, different ways. Uh, we're going to engage on social media like never before. We're going to do this. And every one of them doesn't every one of the program doesn't work yeah I, I think this has probably been the weakest leg in the counterterrorism stool that we've ever had um, frankly we haven't funded it the way we have to any messaging that the US government often loses its legitimacy because it's coming from the US government so I think what we should really be doing is investing in enabling moderate Muslims throughout the world to counter this message the US government can do some things but we're not good at it and we proved ourselves and if it's government supported it won't be believed right that's right yeah. so we've got to give the technology and the tools to community groups who do want to counter this message mm -hmm. and simultaneously we have to have a law enforcement intelligence presence to monitor mm -hmm. understand that we can't monitor everyone and we have to re continue to work with technology companies to make sure that information can be monitored pursuant to the law. Well, I'll tell you, Senator Feinstein, it's this issue of monitoring uh, with social media companies. Obviously, you know, that starts infringing on First Amendment rights and, and what's the line and what's not the line. Uh, let me start with the FBI. Do you think they can handle all of the cases that they have? You heard uh, the uh, FBI director say they have all 50 states now. They have some potential ISIS follower they're following. Do they have the resources to deal with this, and is it the type of threat that we should throw even more money at? 
Well, I, I, I will tell you this. If they don't have the resources, they just have to come to the president and Congress and they're going to get the resources. I mean, this is a matter of prime defense of the homeland, and uh, it would come first. Um, uh, Director Comey has said that in their 56 field offices, uh, they have investigations in every one. It takes 30 agents to surveil one person. So it's an amazingly intensive um, personnel issue. Uh, having said that, um, I really think that we, begin, we need to take a look at this. Um, Senator, while I have you, the Patriot Act, obviously the big uh, the yes. bulk data collection uh, was struck down uh, a court. Not quite saying it was unconstitutional, basically saying Congress, that, that the law doesn't cover what the administration has said it covers, which is this idea of bulk data collection, and says if Congress wants to be able to do this, then they need to explicitly pass a law that uh, forces telephone companies to do this or not. Where, well, are, you, where are you on this? Are you yeah. willing to pass a specific law that allows for bulk data collection, whether held by the phone companies or the government? I think here's the thing. The president, the House, uh, and a number of members of the Senate uh, believe that we need to change that program. And the way to change it is simply to go to the FISA court for a query, permission to go to a telecom and get that data. Uh, the question is whether the telecoms will hold the data. And the answer to that question is somewhat mixed. I know the president believes that the telecoms will hold the data. If that, I think we should try that. And, uh, but an act of Congress could force them to do that, correct? An act of Congress could force them to and do that. And can that pass, this well, Congress? Well, that's the problem. The House does not have it in their bill. All right. Senator Leahy does not have that in his bill. All right. I'm going to have to leave it there. June 1st, Patriot Act expires. We'll see what happens. Senator Feinstein, happy Thank Mother's you, Day, by the way. Thank you. Thank All right. You. And Mike Leiter, always a pleasure. Thanks for coming. Great beer.